Aloha! Welcome to the Whiskey Wimps. Gosh, love it. We're doing a special two-part video today. Two-part video. I've never done two-part video on this channel ever. In the last 713 videos on this channel, we have never done a two-part video. We're doing a two-part video today. Two videos coming out back to back from each other in the same day. Two parts. This Ooh. first part That's is a lot of editing. It's a lot of editing, but we're gonna make it happen. If you've been to the Reptile Super Shows in the last year or so, and you ran by my table, you may have seen a strange face. Thanks for having me on your show today, You're Brian. welcome. So I thought, I thought since we're, we're gonna be at the Vegas show coming up here, uh, September 10th and 11th, and we're gonna be, the two of us, at a table, Again. both showing our snakes. So I figured we'd do one part video showing Matt's snakes that he's gonna be bringing, oh, talk yeah. about hognose snakes, uh -huh. and then the second part, we'll talk about the snakes that I'm bringing to the show. Sound fun? Good. I'm glad you like the idea. Oh, let's see the snake, Matthew. You want, you want to see the snake numero uno? Focus on the snake, camera. So right now we have a brown snake. This is a brown snake. This is a brown brown hognose snake. A though. brown western hognose. Yes. Oh, look at that. Perfect. So, so, how big are these snakes when they hatch? Oh, let's see here. They are about half the size that you're seeing right now. And half this size. Half that size. Ooh, a side of wonder action. And they do hatch out of eggs. They do. They do hatch out of eggs. Are hognose snakes um, considered colubrids? Yes, they are considered colubrids. Uh, do hognose snakes pee? Yes. <laughs> they pee right all over the triple or the, the T. Pee on the T. Pee on the T. Pee, pee, pee on the T. <laughs> I feed and water all my snakes, as you can see. You're welcome. <laughs> Other than the pee, what uh -huh. is so special about this snake? That makes it, I mean, it's a special, it's a Western hognose. It's, it's, it's produced by SoCal Herps. Yeah, I made it. What, is oh. there any, there's some kind of morph going on here? So, there's there's a few morphs that are going on right here. So, we have right here is a, what's called a super conda. Super conda. So, that is bringing two condas together. And what condas are is it breaks up the pattern of a traditional, normal hognose snake. And they call it a conda because it's They call it a conda because the guy who found, who found the original morph, Brent Bum Gardner saw it, and it reminded him of the green anaconda, the way the little circles were on, on, the, on the snake. Gotcha. But then Superconda just washes out all the patterns. Super it washes out everything except for the head stamp on top. I'm glad that it washes out everything, because I'm going to need it to wash this table off for me. <laughs> <laughs> you, you like orange better? If I'm going for bright colors, then yeah, I would take orange over brown. Hold that thought. It's taking a lot of effort. Oh, Here is our next hognose snake. That's orange. Ooh, can I take a guess based on what I see? Yes, you can. Um, I'm going to guess that this is an albino superconda. No? It is. It is! <laughs> yes! I really wanted just to just like, say no. <laughs> <laughs> you can't deny when it's right. So everything you're going to see here as far as babies are all supercondas. At the table, I have plenty of other different varieties and mores, but... Just kind of want to show off just a little bit of a snippet, snippet of what you'll see there. Snippet. Snippet. What are some special things that you could say about a uh, <laughs> squirmy wormy, squirmy wormies, Western and hognose snake that I was about to call it an anaconda <laughs> that people might not know. People may not know. By the way, I'm gonna expect you to ask me questions like this when it's my turn. Oh, uh, can I ask you all these kind of questions? <laughs> uh, Ow! <laughs> I'm so glad I hit you. <laughs> it didn't bite me. It just like nudged me really hard with its little oh. hog nose. I don't know. So I guess what you can say is that they all, they actually do all have personalities, I would say. I mean, there are some that are just a little bit tab more defensive. I, I was have expecting ones that something will... scientific. I don't think I have personalities. <laughs> I won't be vending at Brian's booth. Vegas. <laughs> like more, less scientific? Yeah, I guess I left it pretty open for you to yeah. be fair. Um, it's just something that the, the common, not just the general public, because the general public probably doesn't even know that they're uh, rear fang venomous and that they're beast, that they're bee sting, that their bite is uh, similar to a bee sting as far as pain and and, and, and venomation. Um, Do you know what they're trying to mimic in the wild? I can rattlesnakes. Tell you that. Yes. Maybe I can tell you like what their natural. This looks is. really cool though. Natural that would be really cool. Yeah. Th this guy, the, like the the white. So and the right, way the red it looks like it looks like like the orange like you you know those like pictures or something or or uh -huh. textures and things like it, if you look at it one way, then it looks orange or if you look at it another way then it looks. So white. what's so special about this albino one is this comes from what's called a purple line, albino, which makes the the sides of it a little bit more white, but the top dorsal as you can probably pick up from your overhead camera, you see like a stripe going down the, the middle of its back where it's a little bit brighter in color. Yeah, it's trippy. Those cars that like they look like they're white, but then you look at them at a certain angle and they're like purple. Oh, okay. And green. Yeah, that's what this reminds me of. It's pretty cool. 
Okay, so what's the natural diet? Their natural diet is actually toads. So that's why they have that really hard upturned nose. It's used for digging out toads and burrows. And then that rear fang pops their, them? Their rear fang pops them. Because the toad will inflate itself exactly. as a defensive mechanism? That's the whole purpose of that, that venom is just to deflate the toad. All right, Brian. Maybe you don't like orange. No, I like orange. Maybe you don't like orange. Okay, maybe and I maybe don't you want like to see orange. a different color. Yeah, maybe I want to see a different color. Yeah. How trying, about trying to tell me what I like? <laughs> How about silver, Brian? Yeah, I'd love to see amazing. silver. Silver sounds great. <laughs> this is what we call in the hognal world a silver bullet. This is a anery. So or can a we kill? A, can we kill a werewolf with this? Possibly. Because if not, then I think it's false advertising. Anyways, this is what we got here is a silver azanthic Anri Superconda Hognos. This one's doing a fun dance. I love this. What's happening right now? I think it's really just looking at that camera going one to go like all the way up there. I like it. I like it too. I like it a lot. I may keep it. Okay. Sorry. Now it's mine. So at your table, I noticed, well, at my table with your stuff, I noticed, <laughs> <laughs> I noticed that you don't have prices, which makes it... Very convenient when you walk away from the table and somebody wants to buy one of your snakes. Yes. You want to know the reason why I do that? Why do you do that? I like to engage people in conversation first. I mean, if they, they're coming to me looking for a hog nose, like, I'd rather not be like, look at the price, walk away, and try to find the cheapest one. I would rather you f talk with me. I can help you find out, like, you know, what the per perfect snake is for you. If you're working on a certain project, I can help you, you know, down that road. I'd rather engage in conversation than to more or less be like, here's money. I see it's $12, buy the snake and move on. So like, the primary function is to get a conversation started. Exactly. That's okay. why I'm, I'm, that's what got me into this hobby. I, I want to engage people. I want to like hear what their passions are, hear why they like hollow noses. Why did you stop by my booth and look at them? Besides just, I'm looking for a cheap snake that day and keep moving forward. That, that does nothing. That doesn't help grow the, the hobby, the industry at all. Cool. I like it. It's a good reason. You didn't like silver. I didn't. I really didn't. No. Maybe you're like more of a like a, a pure white kind of person, like like diamond. Ah, uh, garments dressed in white. Yes. Everything is better in white. Right? That's racist. Back to the hognose. Ooh, he bluffs Justin. Oh, uh, he's going to. He is so going to. So a fun to. fact about hognose that I know is that when they are striking at you defensively, they do it with their mouth closed. Typically. 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 I've, I've never taken a defensive hognose bite with its mouth open. I have. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Interesting. Does it just do, like, the teeth slap like most it, other snakes? It just... Big old, like... Like a Muppet kind of thing. Like just like a stuffed puppet just trying to, like, bite you. You feel nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he's got uh, something stuck to his head. Yeah, he's got a little... Uh, <laughs> Let's leave it on there. It's, on a, there. It's, a little, it's a little... It's a little hat. Wait, he's got a feather in his cap. Let's call him Yankee Doodle. Ooh. Macaroni. So, so this is a snow hog nose. So this is what happens when you breed an oh, albino. Oh, come on the thing. Let's and see that locomotion again. Sorry. Oh. Everybody do the loco locomotion. Come on, come on. All right. Look at that. Oh. Even makes you happy Ooh, when perfect. you're feeling sad. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Isn't it? I think so. I like snows are one of my favorite. It's kind of what got me into it. This project right there. Turns. And this one's in shed. This one's is, is in shed, correct? So when he sheds out, be so much more white. So how big do these get? So females will get about two feet, roughly about two hundred and fifty three grams. Me? Oh, I can just show you. Do you want to see an adult female, Brian? I want to see an adult female. Oh, it's your lucky day. <laughs> so Brian, this is a yellow snake. That snake looks like it's gonna try and eat my table. It may. So this is like a this. So this is a proven breeder. Adult. This is a proven breeder. She has bred twice in her life already. She is roughly about 200 grams right now. I don't let them get too much bigger than about 250. To oh really? Be honest. I've not had a very good track record of girls that get up to 300 grams in breeding. I personally think that we're pushing their bodies much harder and at a size that they typically don't even see in the wild mm. when we do it that way. I mean, yes, we'll get more eggs, but we've shortened their lifespan mm. greatly by doing that. Which, in turn, ends up being less eggs. Exactly. 
Exactly. Hognos in the wild have been found only having four egg clutches. What this girl here is doing here right now is probably 10 eggs, which is a lot more than what they would be doing in the wild. But if you get them up to 300, yes, you'll get your, your super clutches and you can post it online. Like I got 30 eggs, but. And I you just, got a dead snake next year. And then you have a dead snake next year. Or it's going to take her two years to recover from doing all that. I personally just rather just produce smaller clutches, healthier females and get to enjoy the snake for her, what should be her, her lifespan instead of shortening it just to make a few more snakes. Fair enough. Well, this concludes part one of our what will be at the... I don't even know what we're calling this. What should we call this? Super so Bonanza. Super so? What about what you <laughs> see, what you'll see, <laughs> what to expect at the Las Vegas Reptile Super Show? a lot of words there's a lot of words leave a comment down below with what you think the title of this video should be and if it's a good one i'll change it to be that what if i comment on it it's got to be good i'm not just going to change it just as you comment but if whoever has the best comment for the title of this video oh, be mindful it's going to be the title of both part one and part two forever and make sure to click right here on part two because we're going right there right now your face is jenga your face is jenga you need lower. I need a, I need yes, you lower. do need to go lower, as low yeah. as you can. It's yeah. up as high as it can right now for T. There you go. That's more reasonable. Oh, yeah, so you want to hit. <laughs> oh, mine's already on silent. Look at that. Bam. The order that I want. The order that I want. The order that I want for you and me. The order that I want. The order that I want.